I'm here with Craig Quarter, who is the Chief Operating Officer, the Global Chief Operating Officer of Baker & McKenzie, and we're at the 14th Annual COO-CFO Forum. So Craig, uh, one of the themes of this uh, conference today was innovation, another was technology. Can you tell us about uh, how technology is employed at Baker & McKenzie? Sure. Uh, Ralph, we employ a lot of technology, but uh, one of the focuses we have, as you'd expect, being a global firm, is connecting and collaborating with our clients anywhere, anytime. So a major focus in our technology is collaboration and knowledge sharing. Let me give you three examples. Uh, we have a, uh, we use Microsoft Link to have our lawyers communicate and collaborate, and we've connected in a lot of our clients to our Microsoft Link system. So the client can go online, if he needs to talk to a lawyer, can see if the lawyer is available. If the lawyer is, gets all the tools you get with Link. You can chat, you can video, you can, you can have audio conversations and the like. Another example is we have Baker & McKenzie Online, which is a collaboration extranet. So a client can go on and get all kinds of information about their legal matters. Uh, and they can even uh, get into the same document at the same time with one of our lawyers and co-edit the document. Uh, so they'll see each other's, each other's edits. A uh, really good way to work very closely with your client. On the knowledge sharing uh, front, we have a couple things. We have uh, a, uh, an interactive online service called uh, Law & Context that has premium subscription content in very, uh, very uh, focused areas. And we have other content that we provide. Uh, one example is a project, product we call GMAP, and it's a global merger uh, and acquisition planner. And it's a tool that just won a, a Financial Times award for uh, uh, innovation in law firms uh, from a technology perspective. And what it does, it's an application, and it helps people who are doing uh, multi-jurisdictional acquisitions analyze antitrust rules. So there's a lot of things we do in technology, and a lot of them are client-focused. And that's a, that's a very broad array of tools that you've shared with us. And those first two, of course, are critical with your truly global footprint to be able to collaborate with your clients and your lawyers around the world. So, so you were part of a panel here today uh, about uh, technology with a focus on Watson, artificial intelligence, and the like. Uh, what, are, what, what is a takeaway that you had from that panel? Yeah, I think the takeaway is we're all trying to figure it out. This, uh, this will be disruptive technology. Whether it'll be disruptive in the next year or two, in the next 10 years, is the big question. And we're all looking at it saying, how does this fit in and, and how are we going to use it and when ultimately are we going to use it? Terrific. Thank you very much, Craig. Thanks, Ralph.